Meta rents, because we rent in the metaverse, so that's what we do. We're building a rental platform, and this rental platform enables users to lease their NFTs or rent them out. And uh, this way they can generate income and other people can use these assets or these NFTs for their projects, events. Everyone is familiar actually with the sharing economy model. The problem that we're trying to fix is actually people have NFTs. They tend to keep it in their wallets for a while and not generate income from it. You can in certain ways, but at the same time, there is a lot that could be done in this space, not just having the NFT and owning it. We also noticed that there is a lack of platforms or marketplaces that give this opportunity for people to generate income from their NFTs and for other people to use them. So that's why we exist. The solution, we built an NFT renting protocol which provides infrastructure for other projects to build on top of it. So any project who wants to provide for their uh, customers the renting or leasing uh, capabilities or features, they can use the protocol for that matter. And uh, the other side is the P2P marketplace, which is a marketplace where people can, can lease their NFTs, where you can list the NFT. After that, the owner can approve or reject offers that are made by renters. And after that, the owners get paid, people get to use the NFT, and everyone is happy. So it, all this is going through the protocol. When we started first, uh, the central and sandbox, there was a lot of use cases there. Companies came to us and asked us, do they want to have events? They want to organize advertising for their brands and stuff like that, but they, they don't want to buy a land. They don't want to buy a space. That's why it's useful for companies to, to rent something for a specific period of time, and then they can enjoy the flexibility and uh, the greater service that is provided by this uh, model. This is actually a market breakdown for all the things that could be done in NFT renting, starting from meta metaverse spaces, for businesses, for, uh, for advertising, for activations and things like that. And also prefabricated buildings and spaces like Metamondo does as well. And uh, yeah, play to earn games, strategic games, and uh, the list is really long. So our, our core is to help lower the bar barriers to entry for the mainstream users, not just for people who are web trees or tech savvy. This is what we're trying to build, and this is our mission and for the long term. There is a great deal of value that could be exploited. We're trying to unlock this for everyone. People find the concept a bit odd because they want to own right now, because this is really early stage, but at some point, this is where the market is going. Metaverse as a service, or whatever you call it, pay as you go. This is the model that we're pretty familiar with right now in cloud, in anything that we use. Thank you guys. Thank you very much.